Okay, traditional pour. You pour your paint on the canvas like this. Usually you put a, a, a color underneath to help it to spread. That I did not do because I put a lot of paint on the canvas itself. What you tend to do anyway. You also want to cover your edges like so. Like that. Okay. Now usually you want to have a direction in mind when you're doing this. Okay. Just like this. Do it again. You want to have your area completely covered. As you can see, it gets messy. Practically any age can do a pour. Just about. Just about. Okay, that's your traditional pour. Two basic colors, blue and brown. You can come in with your fingers. You can scoop up some of the paint that you mixed. Just slap it on there like so. Squeeze it from your fingers. But for me, I like to do this when I do that. Don't leave it. You got to kind of finesse it a little bit, right? Try to get it going the direction you want it to go so it just doesn't look like a blob. The more you work with it, the more the lines will begin to get thinner and thinner. So you want to make sure you're aware of that too. But that's what makes the acrylic pour so cool. It just does it on its own. Again, make sure you're aware of the direction that you're pouring. Usually for the classes, I try to have them go a specific direction both ways so they can get the understanding of what happens with the pour. I know on videos on YouTube, most of the time they don't do that, but I want it to look, you know, professional as possible for the sake of the students. All right, there's one.